Hello friends, welcome back to electromagnetic field theory. We have covered all the concepts of Coulomb's law, electric field intensity due to various charge configurations in this chapter 2. Now we are on the verge of completion of the second chapter by practicing two miscellaneous problems. So let us have miscellaneous problem number one. In this miscellaneous problem, you will have two types of charge configurations because of which the electric field intensity we can measure at the field point. What condition is given into the numerical problem? Let us see and solve that to get the proper answer. The problem statement is in free space line charge rho L equal to 100 nanocoulomb per meter lies on the entire z axis while a point charge 100 nanocoulomb is at point P 200 find capital E bar at the part A is 310 point location and part B is 432 point location. Now to read the problem statement in the free space line charge and a point charge. So here we have two types of electric field sources. One has line charge configuration, another has point charge configuration. So we have to use two different formulae that are very very simple and we have derived to get the electric field intensity. Now after reading this problem statement let us first of all draw the diagram. We shall locate the sources of electric field into that particular diagram and then the field point. So let us begin with the diagram. We take the help of x, y, z axes that are mutually perpendicular having orthogonal structure in rectangular coordinate system. So let us say this is positive x direction. This is negative z. This is positive z. This is positive y and this is negative y. Now we have line charge. Line charge rho L is the line charge density and it lies on entire z axis. Okay, So z axis I show you with a different color so that we will come to know that it is a line charge and for this line charge we have the value rho L is equal to 100 nano coulomb per meter. So nano means 10 to power minus 9. Now we have another charge it is a point charge. This was the first one. This is the second one point charge. So it has magnitude 100 nano coulomb and it is located at point P having coordinates 2 comma 0 comma 0. So 2 comma 0 comma 0 means 2 units on x axis, 0 units on y axis, 0 units on z axis. So it means the point is here. So this point P has charge value that is 100 nano coulomb again 10 to the power minus 9. So now we are asked to find out capital E bar that is electric field intensity at this point. So let us denote this point to be A this point to be B. So I plot the point A into the diagram it is 310. So 3 units onto the x axis 1 unit onto the y axis. So if I have the parallel lines and the intersection I get this point. So this is I name it A310. Z coordinate is equal to 0. So no need to get it lifted up or lower it down by some height. So this is the field point A. Okay. And this is the first source. Second source I show with this dot. Okay. So because of line charge, we have to find electric field intensity. Let us denote it by E1 bar because of this point charge. Let us say electric field intensity will be E2 bar as again we will be getting them summed to get net electric field intensity that is required at the field point. So let us proceed. So we write E bar is equal to E1 bar plus E2 bar in place of E1 bar I write rho L upon 2 pi epsilon 0 rho a rho cap and in place of e2 bar I write q upon 4 pi epsilon 0 r square a r cap. So now in this step we require 
what is rho then a rho cap direction what is r then a r cap direction so from the diagram i write rho a rho cap this is equal to 3 ax cap plus ay cap that i have derived from the location of the field point and that of the source so this is the perpendicular segment drawn onto that particular line charge so hence the magnitude of rho we denote by under root 10 therefore the unit vector a rho cap will be equal to 3 ax cap plus ay cap upon under root 10 this was e bar so the required fields for the first term we have here let us say this is equation number 1 now for the second formula we can have r ar cap is equal to ax cap plus ay cap therefore r will be equal to under root 2 and ar cap will be equal to ax cap plus ay cap upon under root 2 so using these values equation number 1 will imply equation number 1 will imply capital e bar is equal to 100 into 10 to the power minus 9 upon 2 pi into the epsilon 0 value is 1 by 36 pi Into ten to the power minus nine into under root ten. The unit vector is three a x cap plus a y cap upon under root ten. So this is the first term. The second term will be added up. So again it is hundred into ten to the power minus nine upon four pi. epsilon 0 value is 1 upon 36 pi into 10 to the power minus 9 the magnitude here will be r square so it is 2 and the unit vector ax cap plus ay cap upon under root 2 so first term for the first source of charge first source of electric field and the second term correspondingly so finally we simplify them to get 1800 upon 10 thrice ax cap plus ay cap plus the second term will be 900 upon under root 2 times under root 2 ax cap plus ay cap hence we get capital e bar is equal to 858.8 80 ax cap plus 498.1980 ay cap as electric field intensity is measured in volts per meter or newtons per coulomb we can give this measurement unit so this way we are finished with part a of this problem statement so the electric field intensity at point we have denoted a by the location 310 as per given we have this answer capital e bar now let us go for plotting the point b and have the similar procedure to find out electric field intensity at this point so again we take the help of diagram so in the diagram we have in this diagram let us have the point b having the coordinates 4 3 2 so we mark 1 2 3 and 4 units on x axis 3 units on y axis and 2 units on z axis so here there will be the point b having these coordinates so to look at the position of the field point b at this place the position of the source charges the line charge and the point charge we again write the formula capital e bar in general will be given by rho l upon 2 pi epsilon 0 rho a rho cap plus q upon 4 pi epsilon 0 r square a r cap now we require rho a rho cap r a r cap so rho a rho cap 
from the positions of the field point and the source we get 4 ax cap plus 3 ay cap hence the magnitude rho will be equal to pi u and a rho cap will be equal to 4 ax cap plus 3 ay cap upon pi u. whereas r a r cap we obtain equal to twice ax cap plus 3 times ay cap plus 2 times az cap hence we obtain the magnitude r this is equal to under root 70. Now we have the ar cap unit vector twice ax cap plus 3 times ay cap plus twice az cap upon under root 70. Hence using the r ar cap rho a rho cap in let us say equation number 1 we obtain the further step that is equal to capital E bar is equal to 100 into 10 raised to power minus 9 in the numerator 2 pi into 1 by 36 pi into 10 raised to power minus 9 into the magnitude rho that is pi u the unit vector we have the unit vector is 4 ax cap plus 3 ay cap upon pi u so this is the first term now for second term we have 100 into 10 to the power minus 9 as it is for the nano 4 pi into 1 by 36 pi into 10 to the power minus 9 as the value of epsilon 0 into r square will be 70 the unit vector will be twice ax cap plus 3 ay cap plus twice az cap divided by under root 17. So we have substituted all the values into the uh, equation for capital E bar that is electric field intensity. We further simplify them 1800 upon 25. So 4 ax cap plus 3 ay cap will be in multiplication. In the second term we have 900 upon 17 under root 17 the unit vector will be the same so finally we obtained 313.6802 ax cap plus 254.5203 ay cap plus 25 0.6802 AZ cap holds per meter. So this is the required answer of electric field intensity at the field point we have named capital B with the location 432. So part B is also solved. We got this answer. Thank you.